Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export PNG images with an embedded custom ICC color profile, uh, which is going to allow you to export your images in a certain color space, uh, for example, P3 or CMYK, RGB, that sort of stuff. Uh, so we'll get started now. So all I'm going to do is go up to the resources icon in the top of my Figma header. I'm going to click on that and search for the word tiny image. So that's T-I-N-Y. I M A G E and under the plugins tab, you'll see the tiny image plugin pop up. All you need to do to run it is either click on this run button here, or if you want to save it to your plugins list for later, you can click on this little more options icon and click on save plugin and that'll save it to your plugins list for later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to right click on my Figma canvas. I'm going to go down to plugins. I'm just going to go down to saved plugins. And under save plugins, you'll see the tiny image menu item pop up. So I'm just going to click on that and that's going to run the plugin we just installed a second ago. Um, so you'll notice here that we don't have any export settings on any of our images at the moment. So the first thing you'll need to do is just make sure that the images you want to export to PNG with a custom color profile already have the PNG settings you need on them in the Figma export settings. So to do that, you just select the layers you want to export and then go over to the right hand side here, click on the little export plus button, and then you'll be able to change your uh, options here. So by default, it's already on PNG. Uh, you can change the resolution of that, so you can make it 2X. I'm just gonna leave it at 1X for now. And if you need to add more resolutions, you can also add them uh, as extra layers or extra export settings as well. So I'm just gonna keep it really simple for today and leave it at PNG at 1X, just for these two images. And now that we've updated that, we just click on the refresh button in tiny image, and that's just going to load up the export settings that we just specified in Figma a second ago. So by default, this is going to export your PNGs in the normal Figma default color space, uh, which is basically unmanaged. Um, so you'll just get a regular export if you go ahead and export that now. But if you want to change the color profile settings for your PNG exports, just click on the little settings icon in tiny image. And you'll notice down here, there's an option called PNG color profile. So as I mentioned, it's set to Figma by default, but we can click on that select box and change it to any of these different options. So we've got some different categories. We've got display P3, we've got Adobe compatible color spaces, CMYK, SRBG, and things like that. So if we wanted to change this to be P3, we can do that just by clicking on any of these items here. You can either check the one with maximum compatibility or maximum correctness. I'm just gonna go for compatibility at the moment and select that. And then you've also got a toggle over here. So by default, this toggle is set to use ICC version four. If you uncheck that, it's gonna use ICC version two. Uh, version four is mostly supported and probably best to use, but if you do need version two, you can just uncheck that and that will use version two instead. So I'm gonna leave that on version four and that's all you need to do. You just can close off this settings panel now. So I'm gonna click close. And all we need to do now is click on export. So I'm going to click this export button and that is going to set our PNGs with that ICC profile uh, included in the PNG exports. And if we save that now, I'm just going to close off the plugin and also re-export these just as regular Figma layers, just so we can compare them. So I'm going to export those two layers to the desktop. And I'm just going to name these. So we've got Kyoto Figma and Shop Figma. And now if we open up our zip file, and I'm just going to drag those two files in there and open up the folder. So we can now compare these two different uh, color profiles by opening up the preview. So I'm just going to open up the Figma one first, and I'll just move that over here. And then if we go down to the Shop one, uh, you can see it's, it depends on where you're looking, but for example, if you notice down here where we've got these crates in front of the doorway, if you keep an eye on that, you can see here, this is the Figma version. And now I'm going to go down to the color managed version. And you can see that the red is quite different. Uh, the color space is quite different there. You can notice it also on this pole over here. If you see this one's quite dull and this one has uh, a lot, a lot of a different color space, uh, the same thing up here. There's all different parts of the image that have basically been modified to that color space. Uh, we can do the same thing if we open up the Kyoto Figma one. 
So we've got this one, which was exported from Figma normally. And then if we go down, you can see that there's quite a difference between the two color profiles. So we've got this one from Figma, that's the standard one. And then we've got the P3 color profile, which again, you can tell the difference in all of these reds. It's uh, quite striking when you compare them. So that's Figma, that's the P3. And you can see this one's quite different in terms of color space. So that's a really quick example of how you can do this. As I mentioned, there's a bunch of different other color space options that you might want to explore. It all depends on what your use case is, uh, where you're going to be actually using that PNG. And you'll know if you need a color space uh, setting or an ICC profile based on your use case, you'll probably get that as a specification uh, from whoever's requiring that file. And you can just find that ICC profile in your tiny image settings and export the PNG with that color profile embedded uh, really easily, just as we've looked at today. So I'll leave it there. I just wanted to keep it really simple and show you how to customize your PNG ICC color profiles if you need to do that from Figma. Uh, this is a really quick way of going about it. And uh, I hope you find it useful if you or your team has been wondering how to use color profiles in your image exports from Figma. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.